Jose from Barcelona, Spain writes, I've been experimenting with speaker placement in my living room, and I keep coming back to the question of toe-in. Most guides suggest angling the speakers towards the listening position, but in my case, the imaging seems more natural when the speakers face straight ahead. I've read conflicting opinions. Some say toe-in tightens the image and boosts detail. Others say it narrows the soundstage and makes things sound too etched. Is there a rule of thumb here, or does it depend on the speaker design and the room acoustics? I'd love to know your approach to finding the right toe-in angle and whether it's something you adjust by ear or measure precisely. Well, it's definitely something we do by ear, but it's also something that is very speaker dependent. So let's let's take some examples. A pair of Wilson fine speakers. Wilson Audio makes some of the best speakers in the world. They like to be towed in. That's because their on and off axis response is not very flat. It's not it's not it, it's it's more pointed. And there's a whole bunch of reasons for that. And that's fine because they sound amazing. They can make an amazing image, but they need to be pointed in. Aspen speakers like these have the opposite kind of on and off axis response, very flat, and they don't like to be towed in so much. They like to be out. So magnaplaners, uh, you know, again, they like to be towed in a bit. It's really dependent on the loudspeaker. Uh, our friend Sandy Gross, but when, before he sold Golden Ear to uh, Bill over at AudioQuest, those speakers, man, they really wanted to be towed in. Okay, They were very specific. And when you tow a pair of speakers in, the soundstage gets trapped between the speakers. When you tow the speakers out and just a little tow in, now you have a very wide sound stage that extends beyond the loudspeakers and in here. But that only works with certain loudspeakers. So again, it really depends on the loudspeaker and your setup technique. So the audiophiles guide, if you get a copy of that, it tells you, you know, if your speaker is like this, do this, that kind of thing, right? So uh, there's no general rule of thumb. The easiest way to do this, let's say you just have a pair of speakers that we haven't discussed, okay? And you want to get the best that you can. Always start your speakers straight out. And then, and uh, we have quite a few examples on the Audiophiles Guide where you can play this track, play that track, and you listen for the center image, and we start towing in until the center image snaps into place. Okay? Now, on the speakers I mentioned earlier, you're really going to have to tow those things in quite a bit before it snaps in. These, straight ahead, it snaps in pretty good. It, as we tow them in a degree or two, it just gets better. If we do it too much, then it narrows everything down. So those are just some of the highlights of how the process you'll go through uh, when you read through the book and you try and figure out all this stuff. But it is setup and speaker type, and you kind of have to know both in order to maximize the spatial qualities of your loudspeaker. And with everything, there is a, a trade-off, right? Always a trade-off. So, okay, I hope that helps. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Bye.